Hey everybody, it's Cassie Delora with ET. We are hanging out with Blake Shelton backstage at his I Heart Country What's up, album buddy? release party. I'm, I'm so excited to talk to you and uh, sit down and you know talk hey, about your new album. Congratulations! I mean, it has been two years since your last album, and here we have fully loaded oh God's God, country. Right, yeah. What do you want? That. What do you want fans to know about this album? Well, <laughs> I think they mostly already know everything about the album. There's only <laughs> one thing uh, that they haven't heard, and it's a it's a duet with with mm -hmm. Gwen and I. That's the, but I think by the time they even see this interview, uh, it'll be out there. So I guess the one thing that I would say is, you know, if it, all these songs of mine that you've heard for the last you know yeah. uh, three years now, it's it's a good, quick and easy way to get all of them because it's pretty <laughs> much it's pretty much a hits package, you know. Yeah. But we put. Uh, uh, nobody but you on there, mm -hmm. and, and uh, there's another one called Jesus Got a Tight Grip. Fun uh, drinking song too. Oh yeah, well anytime I have Tequila to offset Sheila. all my God <laughs> religious songs with them <laughs> drinking hell right type songs. Yeah, it's I so got a bad reputation to uphold around here. A bad reputation yeah. to uphold. It's so interesting though because back in May you told us that you may never release a full length <laughs> album again, and that you love releasing singles. But here we are, another yeah. album. Do you think this is going to be you the final one? I have been exposed as a liar. <laughs> <laughs> thank, Sorry. Thank you. You're the first one to just address the elephant in the room. Uh, I, you know what? I don't know. I, I didn't expect us to do this. This makes more sense to me because it's it's basically a, a, a greatest hits package for yeah. the last you know five years or four years or something. Uh, and, and I've had two other greatest hits yeah. packages that have come out. So, uh, I, and I don't know if we're going to do an album now because when I think of an album like a studio yeah. album. Uh, definitely have enough songs recorded and you know that we're right. holding off in the can or whatever but I don't know I, I it makes sense on, on one hand on the other hand it Every day that goes by, mm -hmm. it seems to make less sense. I think to so to, to do like more album. of a write and release method type I of like thing. I like that. I, I love it. Okay. I love just releasing a song once in a while mm -hmm. and and you know keeping the fans excited and and I, I think when once you release an album, people these days are they want something new all the time, mm -hmm. you know. And once you release the album yeah. in a week, none of those ten or twelve songs are new anymore, right. you know. So I don't know what I'm going to do to be honest with you. It's just uh, I've just been looking forward to this one particular interview with you because ah. this is where we really get down to the good stuff. Oh, we, oh, I, Blake, I got so many <laughs> questions right. for you, let me tell you. Right. But, you know, obviously this album has already been successful because the title track, God's Country, has mm. not only earned you like your 26 number one, but also your eighth Grammy nomination in your career. Mm. What is your mindset going into the Grammys? You know, I, th I kind of just chalked that up to... Uh, that window had passed me by in my career, you know, and so I didn't expect mm -hmm. to really be nominated for a Grammy ever mm -hmm. again, you know, un unless it's like 30 years from now and, you know, some kind of a weird <laughs> project, you know, that those things come up. But, uh, but I, honestly, it's, it just shows you the power yeah. of the, of the right yeah. three and a half minutes, you know, yeah. God's country is just such a, you know, monster single and, and, and it would have been for anybody. I was mm -hmm. just to get lucky enough, you know, to, to get my hands on it. And, and, you know, it's just been a hell of a ride. And, and the Grammy thing is a shocker. The CMA thing was a shocker mm -hmm. for me. I was just, I was just glad to have, a, you know, a, another song that yeah. had impact like that, no matter how it got mm -hmm. celebrated. I cannot believe, though, that you have never won a Grammy. It blows my mind. It's like always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Yeah. I'm, I'm hope. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is Thank the year you. for Do you. Thank you. They let you vote. Please vote for me. Come on. If they please. will, I, okay. there you go on the ballot. Okay. Blake Shelton, and I'm sure you'll have Gwen by your side on a night oh, like yeah. that. Oh, my God, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, well, speaking of yeah. her, I have to tell you, Blake, the duet, nobody but you. The first time I listened to it, I wept. This song wow. is so powerful. It's so deep. Also makes me feel very single. But <laughs> the first time that you two listened to the final track, I mean, who who cried more? Well, Gwen was crying when we even just talked about singing it together mm -hmm. at all, you know, and actually got the song through Gwen because yeah. uh, she'd been working with Shane McAnally and, and uh, he told her that he had a song he needed to get to me and sent it to her first and then she sent it on to me. And uh, and I listened to it, and I knew that I, my God, I got to cut this song. Yeah. This song's incredible. And and about the time I was deciding I needed to cut it, I was also imagining what it would be like as a duet. It wasn't written that way, mm -hmm. but 
uh, it just seemed to fit perfectly with with yeah. her our story yeah and and musically I think it, it walks the line of, of what mm -hmm. I can do and what she can do and it just everything just kind of aligned and, and came together and it's one of those once in a lifetime you know moments and pieces yeah. of music you know it's very 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 beautiful and very powerful I mean the lyrics will like cut your heart but wow. in like the most beautiful way especially because it's a song that talks about knowing what you have in your life yeah. while you have it right. and not wanting to let it go I mean when did you know Gwen was the one for you uh, it didn't take long you know I had known Gwen uh, from working with her on the voice the, the first season mm -hmm. that she worked there but I didn't really know her I, it's, it's, Mm -hmm. literally about like I know you it's like oh how you doing it's good <laughs> how to see you, doing, you buddy? Again, you yeah know? and then uh, uh, and then by the time the second time she came around you know our both of our lives had basically fallen completely apart and uh, and little did we know it happened to both of us at, at the same time yeah. and uh, we bonded over that and then you know it's so somewhere in in, in that mm -hmm. you know that time of of just you know darkness was right. this was th ended up being the greatest moment of my life, you know? So it's just, it's amazing. It truly mm -hmm. is. And one thing about your bond that I love and respect so much, which we see in this song, is that your faith is evident. And as a woman of faith myself, mm -hmm. that is probably my favorite aspect of this song. And you've been very open about how Gwen has, you know, increased your own belief in mm -hmm. God. How would you say faith has made you two stronger together as a unit? Well, I, I think, both of us know that the, the, the timing and the way that she and I met and came together and it just felt like home, uh, that's, that's not an accident, yeah. you know? And, and I think just the way that she and I were able to, to save each other's lives and get ourselves through that, that time, uh, it, was, it was evidence to mm -hmm. us that, that God had a, a hand in it, yeah. you know? And uh, so I don't know if that answers your question or Like not. Drake says, God's plan. That's right, that's exactly right. <laughs> Oh, now, I have to ask you, and I know the fans are wondering too, is there going to be a music video for Nobody But You? Absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to, listen, there's no way I'm going to have a, a duet with Gwen Stefani and not, because part of what's great about Gwen is she's an incredible singer. But the other part that's appealing is she is drop dead beautiful. And if I can have her in one of my videos, people actually look at the video for once in my entire career. You're damn right that we're going to do a video. Get the views. Yeah, do you guys right. have a, a creative visual for it yet? A little bit. You know, I think it's one of those songs that uh, the song feels timeless to me. Mm -hmm. And so I think we got to treat the video that way. Yeah. It needs to be, you know, classy and, and iconic feeling. And, and uh, that's what we're going to try to do. And we'll see. I, uh, I've still got a, a few weeks to get on the treadmill Planet. and try to, I try, <laughs> still trying to start, learn how to suck in a double chin. If anybody out there can figure that out, please tweet me, let Would me you, know. Google.com yeah. may have some answers. <laughs> No, Gwen's boys were, they kind of made a cameo in I'll Name the Dogs. Yeah. Can, can we get them on board for this music video? Because it's such a personal song. I feel yeah. like it would fit. But do you want to keep it to just you two? Well, I'm sure those kids are hams. They would they would love <laughs> to, to be right up in the middle of the camera. But Is it too mushy-gushy uh, for them? Uh, probably. Yeah, probably <laughs> the first time they could see us, mm -hmm. you know, kiss or... Or yeah. even hug. Oh my God! Let get out of here. So, mm -hmm. I mean, my what I'm looking forward to the most is how you bring the lyrics to life. Like I said, there are so mm -hmm. many powerful lyrics. My favorite one that I know people are going to talk about is, "I don't want to look back in 30 years yeah. and wonder who you're married to." I mean, you're not helping the rumors, Blake. <laughs> you're not helping them. I will say that. I love the rumors. We love the uh, rumors. Yeah, those rumors are great. Anybody that thinks that uh, <laughs> you know that I'm married to to Gwen already, it's I love it. My, my God, who wouldn't want to be married to Gwen Stefani? Lucky man, my right God. there. I will yeah. say one last thing about the song because I do love it so much. Is I do think it is on par with John Legend's All of Me. Like, oh, I wow. literally think people are going to put it on their love songs playlist, and it's going to be one of those songs. My God, I hope you're right. I, it, it, you know what? I, and I've said this before, at this point in my career, I'm, I am recording the songs that I want to record and, and with the people that I want to record them with. And just whatever happens from there uh, is, is what happens. And, and, uh, and so far, that's been the, the best career move that I've made is kind of almost taking my eye off the ball and just doing what feels good in, in my heart. You know, it started with God's country and, 
and uh, and now here we are going into this thing with 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 Gwen and and have, I'm just having a blast right now. You You're know, living I your just, best life. Yeah, yeah. You're I living your am. best life. I love that. Blake Shelton, thank you so much for letting us thank hang you, out buddy. backstage with you at your iHeart Country album release party for Fully Loaded God. You look country, country, by the way. Look at that. Listen, got her, got well, her denim on. Come on we now. We got our denim. I That's just right. need a hat and I need some Smithworks <laughs> vodka and then we got to go to I can to hook you red. up there. I can hook you up with some Smithworks. <laughs> I love it. Blake Shelton, thank you so much. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Thank you.